Hi kids, this is Vicar Andy with another Gospel Chat. Remember, Gospel means good news, so I'm going to be sharing some good news about Jesus with you today. Uh, to start, I have a song to share, and this song is based on a story that Jesus told. It's a story that is part of the Gospel reading for this Sunday. So, here's the song. A man had two sons, and this is what he said to the first. Will you come and do a job for me? said the same to the second son. Will you come and do a job for me? Work with me, help me. Will you come and do a task for me sometime today? And the second son said, Oh, Father, I can do, I should do, I will do. So his father waited for him, but he never came. So did you like that song? Maybe you can hear it one more time just so you can learn it. Here it is. I know it's really short. A man had two sons, and this is what he said to the first. Will you come and do a job for me? said the same to the second son. Will you come and do a job for me? Work with me, help me. Will you come and do a task for me sometime today? And the second son said, Oh, Father, I can do, I should do, I will do. So his father waited for him, but he never came. All right, I hope you like that song. Again, it's based on a story that Jesus told. Um, and the point that Jesus had um, with this story was that there are some people um, that when we look at them, we just think they're very evil, that they do lots of really bad things. And we think there's no way that that person can be saved by God. Um, and that is what some people were doing in Jesus' day. There were some people that thought they were not very simple. They thought that they were actually very good. But Jesus' point to them is that those people that thought they were so good were like the second brother, the second son that said yes to their father, to the master. Um, but in reality, um, they were not doing um, good things. They thought they were, um, and, but they really weren't. They were that second son that said yes, uh, but then never went to the field to work as their father had asked. And so this is to be those people that say yes, they believe in God, um, but really they do not believe in God. Um, they think they're so good um, and they think they always say yes, uh, but they never actually do good. Um, so Jesus' point is they actually do not believe in God. They do not believe that he, that they need Jesus um, to forgive them of their sins because they think they're always doing good, always saying yes. Um, but in reality, they aren't doing the things they think they're doing. They actually really need Jesus to forgive them of their sins. And so that person that said no, the first son that said no, but then went to do the field, um, he's the person that we look at and we think, oh, they're so bad, they're so evil, they don't do good. But in reality, their heart 
um, does believe in God and their heart is in the right place. So on the outside and with what they say, we may not always think they believe in God, um, but they're the ones who actually end up doing what God wants them to do in the long run. And of course, um, the things we do do not save us. The point is we all need um, Jesus to forgive us. So we need to always, because um, both people did something wrong, right? The one said no, um, but then actually did it. Um, but the one that said yes never actually went into the field. And if you remember um, last week, I had a, a video about um, people that were in the field working. Um, and some worked more than others. But at the end of the day, by being in the field, they all received the same pay. And that was to show that with Jesus, everyone gets saved when they have faith in him and his saving work. So if you're in the field working, you have faith in Jesus and you have salvation. Um, that's the good news. Okay, so God loves everyone equally the same, um, but we need to receive um, Jesus' love through faith. And so um, the people that said yes but never went to the field, Jesus was making a point they didn't actually believe because they never ended up in that field. Um, and everyone that believes in Jesus ends up in the field, which is God's field, um, where um, he gives salvation and his love is found. And so, guys, that's the good news for you today. God's love is for you. God's grace is for you. He forgives you of everything that you have done wrong. Um, receive him today in belief. Um, so I'd like to close in prayer. Um, so please pray with me and close your hands, close your eyes so you can be focused. God, thank you for loving us. Thank you uh, for giving us your son so we may know that we are loved by you and know that Jesus is your son and that he loves us too. Thank you for your Holy Spirit who helps us to pray and gives us faith to believe. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you for the good news um, that we are forgiven of all the evil things we've done through your son, Jesus. Amen. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching these videos. This is the last gospel chat uh, with Vicar Andy for a while um, because we have Sunday school starting again at Oak Row Lutheran Church. Um, we still won't have children's messages in the, in the services, but we do have Sunday school again. So I'm going to stop these videos for now, uh, but hopefully very soon we'll have children's sermons once again in the services for you. And who knows, maybe I'll make some more of these. So if you look in the description of this video, there is uh, something that your parents or grandparents or whoever you're watching this with can print out. And it has some activities that you can do based on uh, this story of the two sons. Okay, um, so please walk through those with your parents. It can give you something to do to talk more about this story and what it can mean in your life. God bless you and hope to see you at Sunday school.